Good morning, god damn it. I just can't guess. Um, but right here we have our this is my pre workout meal for today. I'm doing this is actually the first day of a new routine that I'm going to be doing. Um, I'll explain more of that later. But today is upper power day, so here we have three servings of them, their lucky charms. Major key, you gotta get the marshmallows in there. You need the marshmallows for the pre workout carb load, and we got um, some protein powder, it's the MTS no bake way um so i'm just gonna mix that in with as as my milk for the cereal it's just with water and then major key major key major key we got the jet puffed marshmallows on deck um i just uh, pop like four of these and then um try add them to my cereal be a little i got i got chop chop them up though or else they're too chunky but we got some good carb sources there and everybody who knows me you can call me the Marshmallow Man. Alright, I'm going to load up on this and we'll head to the gym. Alright, what up guys? On my way to the gym right now. And I prop my camera up in the passenger seat. So you can ride with me. Ride with me the journey of more success. So I'm just going to take a minute to talk about my new routine. Um, basically, it's a 10-day rotation routine instead of, you know, your typical... Um, seven day routine that goes by days of the week um, and what I've done with it is I have a ratio of strength days to uh, strength days are basically wherever I squat bench and deadlift all together on one day with a little bit of accessory work thrown in there um, so strength days I have uh, one of those per 10 week cycle and then power days I do uh, upper and lower with that, a upper power and lower power day, um, so I have one of those per cycle also, and then lastly I have my hypertrophy days, which are, um, you know, I'll do a kind of push-pull, push-pull leg split for that, for the hypertrophy days, and I have two of those per cycle, so it's basically running in favor for hypertrophy for the routine, it's got a, um, a one to one to two ratio of strength days to power days to hypertrophy days. Basically, the difference between the strength and hypertrophy and uh, excuse me, strength and power days is that the strength days are you know you do a full big three. It's kind of like practicing for me. You have squat, bench, deadlift in that order, and the it's a little bit more intensity than um, the power days. Power days are a little a little more volume oriented, but um, you know that's a great way to. To get all, all different types of training in there. I'm um, very excited for it. It's got a lot of different exercise selection. Still keeping volume high, still keeping intensity high, and um, you know, you can get a little bit of that bodybuilder type of training on the hypertrophy days, and then your power lifter orienting training on the strength days and power days. So I am very excited for it, and I'm heading to the gym right now to do some upper power. We're, uh, we've got day one, so and then everything is supposed to be around an RP of eight for the even the work sets, just because it's so high in volume. So I'm pretty used to high volume routines, and um, you know, but even for me, this is going to take a little bit of adjustment. So first two or so weeks should be going pretty light, and then we'll start working into it. But um, anyways, just wanted to give you guys an update on that routine, and I will see you at the gym. Hey y'all, so today you are joining me for, um, this is my first day on this new routine, this is upper power, this is actually the sixth day of the routine, so I'm just getting into it and then we'll restart it at day 11, and here we have bench, I'm doing four sets of six at 75%, so this weight is, should be pretty easy, all of the, um, the weights on this should be about an RPE of 7 to 8, you know, no more than that because of all the volume. So here I'm just keeping my my elbows relatively close because of previous injuries. Here we have my boy Joshua, aka Saber Stables. Shout him out on YouTube. Check his channel out. He's making easy work with this bench press. Just going through these reps like nothing compared to mine. Making my 6 reps look like a little bitch. Um, but that's okay. That's okay, that's okay. You know, see him move very smoothly through these. And I recorded the first and last sets of these, but again, I did four sets of six. So here I'm just practicing using a good amount of leg drive, 
trying to drive my feet through the floor and you'll see me contracting my glutes and quads during this just trying to trying to focus my lower my lower body with the upper body no Jason Genova and get some leg drive in my bench still practicing that and then we moved on to OHPs for four sets of six again at 75% using my estimated round one rep max at 185 these are going pretty smoothly just remembering to keep my elbows forward keep my glutes contracted and keep my core tight and then we have my boy Joshua about to hit this set he's been having some rotator cuff issues that he told me about uh, because I seen that he would grab the bar pretty wide so I told him to narrow his grip a little bit bring his elbows in and closer and focus on driving with his elbows forward and you'll see during this set he seems to um, perform this lift a little bit better and it goes a little bit smoother and then he told me afterwards that um, his rotary cuff was not really giving him issues after doing that set compared to the one before we he had much a much wider grip and his elbows were kind of flaring to the sides rather than forward so if you guys are having any kind of rotator cuff issues with your OHP check your grip first you might need to close uh, make your your grip a little bit closer and you'll have better drive just you know look at me doing those like a fucking pimp how easy they're going good good uh, good elbow drive there and then here we have some barbell rows going to do four sets of six and I have not done these in a while um, I usually don't like doing them just because they require me to keep my core tight and my they put a lot of tension on my glutes and hamstrings, which just get really annoying. Like these and like barbell curls, um, just get annoying for me to have to stand and actually do them. And then we did pull-ups, again four sets of six. You can't see here, but I have a 15-pound weight attached to my feet. And for a fatty like me at 190, I'm closing on 195. That's a lot of weight for me to be pulling up. So. Just really trying to focus on squeezing with my lats, pulling up with my lats there. And then we have dumbbell rows here, four sets of six again for the last back exercise for this, this power day. And I'm just trying to get a good uh, stretch at the bottom and fully contract at the top. Ziz is alive. Fuark bras. Look at him making it. We're all going to make it. All going to make it, bras. You can be a sick cunt if you want to be bras. Get sick, cunt. You can be a sick cunt. You can be a sad cunt. All going to make it, bras. <laughs> Hope you guys Good. enjoyed that little prayer to Ziz, our one and only faithful Lord. Here we have me doing some tricep extensions. I do these instead of skull crushers now. Um, because I've had a lot of elbow problems from doing skull crushers over the years so now I don't do them at all because they bother my elbow like hell um, I get some elbow problems even doing bench at this point but these are very good they help me to really hit that long head of the tricep then moved on to some rope push downs again I really try to squeeze at the bottom um, and separate that rope as much as I can I feel like I'm spreading that rope Fucking taking trash. advantage of those two different individualized handles rather than just pushing Fucking straight down and you can see Josh capturing them styrations bringing out them styrations we could use a little bit more veins in that elbow in those triceps though but hey we're working with what we got and here we have some some um, cable cable lateral raises for for the cable lateral raises and all my bicep and tricep work. I just did three sets of ten today, um, keeping the the volume high and the reps high, getting a good pump, getting that pump. And then for these, I like to get a good stretch at the bottom, and that's why we're on the cable machine so we can keep that constant tension and keep the weight on the deltoid. Unlike with dumbbells, um, you lose that tension at the bottom just because of gravity. Fuck that gravity, right? And then here we have Josh getting some pissing views of my delt, getting more 3D by the minute. Watch this, watch this. We got 2D right here, another one. Now we're 3D, another dimension, another one. 4D, 4D delts, look at that. Another one. 5D, we going for another one, and another one. 6D delts, people. 
people. Oh, 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 70 and another one. This is, man, this is too many dimensions for me to even keep up with at this point. I don't, I don't know about you guys, but those delts are definitely not natty out of 10. And then speaking of natty, we have my biceps here and lack of any bicep peak. Um, I, I have a hate and love relationship with the barbell curls. I do like them because I feel them quite a bit in my biceps, but I hate them because I feel a lot of tension in my hamstrings and glutes just from uh, doing this exercise standing. So, but I do feel them pretty good. We did three sets of 10 there. And then here we have the last exercise for arms. We got some dumbbell curls, nothing special other than my pissing bicep vascularity and fullness we got the xl shirt hugging the sleeves right there the guns are hugging hugging the sleeves look at that look at them veins boy and them styrations